Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Steve White and the protest family. Jeremy Corbyn led Labour government on June the 9th because Jeremy's promising £10 an hour minimum wage. They've also talked about scrapping zero hours contracts which I think are, have a massive impact on a lot of young workers. I want unemployed workers to be treated with respect. The number one thing is respect for human dignity. Equality is huge and that's like the number one thing that is important to me. I'd like to see an incoming government actually stop the 1% pay cap for the public sector workers. I mean, it's causing much hardship amongst my colleagues. Everyone in the public sector is suffering. Eff effectively, over the last seven years, we've had a 14% pay cut. I work in council housing. I've got people who uh, actually work in council housing who are actually living in squats because they can't actually afford uh, to rent property or to buy property, even though they're in, they're in full-time work. And I look around me and I see teachers, uh, I see nurses who can't afford to actually live near where they actually work because of the prices that are being charged in the private rented sector. I want to see an end of privatisation of public services. In Barnet we've had an horrendous experience. It's directly uh, had a, a, a disgraceful impact on people's terms and conditions. And I want to see Jeremy and the team reverse the privatisation across all sectors in the public sectors, from the schools to the NHS to councils. It's misery, it's misery to workers, it's allowed zero hours contracts. Not all schools have the same resources, uh, not all schools have the same working hours. We have some teachers that are working much longer than others and I just feel that that's not being valued and appreciated. I find that there's um, the new marking system that's coming in, I find um, the hours that they're expecting teachers to work. Um, yeah, I just feel that, that's, that education should be looked at again. I work in further education, which is been almost destroyed and the current government plan on that is to send it out to the market to run courses and we know what that leads to it leads to private companies that can't always complete courses we've seen that already they go bust um, they can't get staff in. I'd like to see a properly funded higher education system that means grants for everybody including older students and young people. I'm fed up with actually seeing my students um, having to struggle between actually putting the food on the table uh, and the demands of their employers while they're trying to actually also attend the lessons. Too often I find that my students are unable to attend lessons because employers won't actually give them the free time. Properly protecting and supporting and promoting decent contracts and working conditions and proper salaries for staff that are working in our colleges, schools and higher education institutions. What I want to see is more childcare, especially for women, but men as well, to enable people to get back into the workplace and stop spending all their wages on childcare. Look after me as I'm getting older. I'm on the other side of 50 and I would like to be looked after. Walk around the streets of London and any of the big conurbations, you see the state of pensioners, where they, where, where they can't afford food, pensioners unions and food banks. They're selling off the hospitals. Austerity politics has cut the emergency services to ribbons across all three services, which has genuinely affected public safety. What I want to see is an end to cuts, an end to austerity, genuine investment in the public sector and genuine investment in workers. Given what's going on with the public sector workers, the issue about um, what happens to migrant workers and EU workers is a big deal right now. 
So I would be wanting the next government not to continue with divide and rule of workers. But I'd like to see the uh, an end uh, of big construction companies uh, subcontracting every, everything out. Uh, the contracts and the work, the workforce is all uh, subcontracted. They should all be directly employed. I want to see and give the power back to the health and safety executive so that workers don't die in the workplace and also ill health in the workplace. There is a serious tackle on that. I want to see a Labour government introduce a public a transparent and public inquiry into the discrimination and blacklisting of trade unionists. You should also do a public inquiry, even if it's a giant one, on all grieve, the Shrewsbury pickets, Camel Laird, Wapping, Grumwick, anywhere where the state and big business has uh, abused workers' rights and human rights. I'd like to uh, cut in the um, time before um, the time during which they can, people can just be sacked for nothing because two years is a ridiculous amount of time. We need to have a strong trade union throughout our society, building apprenticeships, education and the rest. We're tangling with the uh, Trade Union Act 2016 at the minute. You know, it's been brought in to cripple trade unions, make balloting more difficult, uh, undermine workers' rights and undermine union funds as well. So scrapping that would be at the top of the list. They've clamped down on people's right and ability to strike and I want to see that reversed by um, a Labour government. What's great about a Labour manifesto is it hasn't been written by a couple of politicians in the Westminster bubble. It's been engaging with social movements, the blacklisting campaign, the all grief campaigns, the zero hours campaigns, the minimum wage campaigns, all of the rank and file grassroots social movements have had an input into this. This is why it's the People's Manifesto. Protests on the rioters, on the side of the disabled, fighting against that. I'm on the side of the workers, not the side of the boss. I'm on the side of the sick, the benefits claimers, the folk who can't make their wandering claimers. I'm on the side of the kids, on zero hours contracts, on the side of council workers who had their job tax. On the side of uncut, I'm on the side of occupied. It's rich against poor if you just open your eyes. Some people say the change is going to come. So ask yourself, which side? Which side are you on? Which side?